Hello you beautiful people out there, what is going on? This is your friend Brittany coming at you fast with a quick little intro to this video before we get into the actual video. With the approaching release of the closed alphas of both predecessor and core, it's only natural to feel very hyped about it. I'm personally very excited about it. I'm kind of tired of watching Paragon videos and old Paragon bots. I just want to play something like Paragon again, as do everyone. Everyone wants to. Everyone wants to do it. Uh, and with that comes a lot of hype and a lot of expectations and I wanted to make this video real quick just to kind of keep your guys expectations in check and my friend Mongoose who you'll see in the second part of this video does a great job explaining it Mongoose is an awesome individual I love his content he's super funny very original check his link out down in the description below uh, and I will also be appearing on his for the minions uh, podcast I guess is what it is he does videos of it now but I'll be live streaming it tomorrow at 3 o'clock Pacific Standard Time uh, Wednesday right so 3 o'clock Pacific Standard Time that is California time for those of you wondering and it's gonna be fun man uh, definitely definitely just listen to the words in this video take them seriously because they are pretty important and uh, hopefully you guys are as hyped as I am about Paragon 2 stuff it just goes without saying, man. It's going to be incredible. It's going to be incredible. Without further ado, thank you guys so much for watching. If you do enjoy, drop a like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and enjoy the rest of the video. The following is a PSA regarding closed alphas. I know that a majority of the show's viewers don't need any of this information as they are rational humans that will treat the alphas as they are supposed to. With that being said, I'm hoping this will reach the minority that are expecting actual Paragon in all of its glory in the first iteration of whatever our beloved developers release. There is a disturbing trend I've noticed while lurking the shadows of the various Discord servers. People seem to think that the closed alpha releases for these games will be fully functional versions of Paragon that will satisfy all of their third-person MOBA needs. They won't. None of them will. We've been conditioned of late to view closed alphas as functional versions of a game minus a few features. This is due to a recent trend in gaming to give access to games alphas for money. In order to do this, the developer needs to have a far more functional alpha version of what used to be the norm. This isn't necessarily a bad thing, some games never would have seen the light of day without offering a paid alpha. The Forest is an excellent example of that. However, we can't expect the kind of polished alphas that games like Ark had from any of these indie companies. They are going to have to use their alphas for what they were intended for. Here's the definition of an alpha. An alpha test is a preliminary software field test carried out by a team of users in order to find bugs that were not found previously through other tests. The main purpose of alpha testing is to refine the software product by finding and fixing the bugs that were not discovered through previous tests. There are two things I would like everyone to take away from that. First, the alphas for these games will have more bugs than a cheap horse hoo-ha. Second, if you're lucky enough to get all up in that, you have a responsibility to the developer to find and report those bugs. I'm not saying you can't sweat it out and try hard to win, but maybe don't do that every single game. Take a little time to chase some butterflies and see if you can get stuck between some rocks. Try to find out what happens if you target a Muriel just before she takes off. Actively try to break the game and then be as detailed as possible when reporting it when you succeed. Most importantly, if something about these alphas pisses you off, don't take your rage through the internet and shit all over the game. Focus that anger into constructive criticism that can be used by the developers to fix problems they may be unaware of. If someone is horribly overpowered, don't run straight to reddit and try to farm worthless upvotes with your dialogue on how broken the game is. Let the developer know what the problem is, and if you're really feeling frisky, suggest some ways it may be fixed. With all of that being said, I know the viewers of this show are smart enough to do all of that without me saying shit, but I do enjoy hearing myself talk. Back to the show!